It's thick, black, long. and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and today despite me wearing eyelashes right now I swear I'm not in the video. <laughs> we are going to be testing out a affordable mascara. Makeup Revolution has bought out another product and it is the mascara. You can get this from Superdrug and Revolution's website. It is £8 which is pretty affordable in my eyes for a mascara if it works. So today I'm going to be showing you a side by side so you can see the results right in front of you. But before I do that let's go through the claims. This only comes in one shade it's just the black and this is the product information on Superdrug's website looking for a new go-to mascara the mascara revolution ticks all the boxes its hourglass shaped brush hugs the lash to create a natural curl while the highly pigmented formula has amazing volume and length that won't flake or smudge the rich consistency dries down to leave you with fanned out defined lashes no gimmicks no outlandish claims <laughs> shade <laughs> no crazy ingredients just real results. A great mascara for an excellent price that will become the new staple in your makeup bag. I sound like an ad. <laughs> Don't just take our word for it, see it for yourself. This is cruelty free and vegan, which is amazing. So looking at the wand, they have made it an hourglass wand. So it goes in in the center and it fans out on the top and bottom. I believe this is a natural bristle brush so there's no plastic in here and yeah it looks super black but we are going to be testing it on our eyes today so I'm gonna zoom you guys in Ooh, it clicks shut that is a good feature I don't have lashes in the try on okay I've already tried it on spoiler alert <laughs> so yeah let's go to naked mole rat eyed Kiriel <laughs> okay so don't judge the eyeballs because I tried doing something different with my eyeshadow today didn't quite work out the way that I wanted it to and also my eyebrows are awful I tried a different brow product today and it was really the wrong color I tried to fix it with brow gel and it really didn't work and also my brows just need general maintenance that I can't be bothered to give to them so they look a mess okay now we've got all that out of the way let's try this mascara and see if it makes a crazy difference to my lashes so I haven't killed my lashes or anything this is what they look like I look all naked and mole ratty as per usual because my eyelashes are pretty much non-existent not length or anything just color like you can't really see them at all because they're blonde but we're gonna see if this mascara is gonna reveal them so let's just have a quick look at the wand that was satisfying this reminds me of the better than sex wand like let me just get that actually so this is the makeup revolution wand and then this is the better than sex wand they look very very similar. I feel like the Too Faced one is slightly more wispy and a little bit wider at the top but you can see where they were trying to go with. <laughs> the Too Faced one for me is okay I've never been the biggest fan of it but let's see if the formula of this is any better because even though they've got the same ones does not mean that the formula is going to work the same. So let's get to applying. This is the before and let's get Wow, this is uh, quite a black mascara, which I like. I feel like the brush is really gripping to my lashes and right off the bat, it's given me a lot of length. It is quite a thick formula, but it, it's not overly thick though. It's added a nice amount of thickness to my lashes as well as length. This is pretty good. Look at that, oh my gosh. Why have I not tried this mascara sooner? <laughs> all in all, I'd say that it took me about a minute and a half to do one eye and I would happily leave my mascara like this like this is almost fake lash looking this is such a good formula <laughs> oh my gosh I love the way that has made my lashes look it's thick black long but still wispy almost like they look really really good I don't know how close I'm gonna be able to get with my camera but they look so pretty I am super impressed this is my perfect kind of mascara. I really wish they had this in like a brown color and I don't know why. The one thing that I would say is the actual wand is very <laughs> intimidating. Like it's pretty much the size of my eye. It's very big. But let's try doing the bottom lashes. The thing I like about this is the formula isn't too wet as soon as you open the tube. It feels almost lived in already if that makes any sense. Okay it is a little clumpy for the lower lashes. Uh yeah, I don't think I would recommend this for lower lashes because it's a bit over the top. <laughs> I just remembered I forgot to put setting spray on before I did my mascara. I hope to god this does not get everywhere. 
Okay, so I'm gonna quickly do the other eye, even me out a bit. Like, look how long that gets just after two strokes. Oh, and you can see that gross hanging eyelash that annoys me all day. I would definitely recommend getting as much of the excess off this as you can, just so you don't get it all clumpy on the inner corner. Although when I am getting clumps, it does seem to be able to just brush out, which I like. Where is that goddamn lash? You know, I can't see that lash in real life, but I can just see it on the camera. Where are you? Join your family, please. Stop sticking out. Okay, I did a lighter hand on the bottom lashes on this eye and it looks a bit better, but it's just hard to control this because the bristles are kind of fluffy on each end and so it's hard to know when you're placing it, how close to get, because I feel like I bumped my eye a little bit. So just be a bit cautious when doing the lower lashes if you get this mascara. These ones came out a little bit more spidery, I feel. It's a very, very thick hook <laughs> with two Cs. <laughs> formula but personally I quite like this I still feel like it looks a bit wispy though it's not crazy spider lash like you know what I mean I feel like it slightly curled my lashes like can you see just like a little bit on the end there it kind of flicks up quite nicely so that's really nice anyway I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my makeup I'm gonna zoom you all out and yeah then we'll discuss my final thoughts be right back okay so I finished up my makeup and I got bored and I added some glitter which is just typical because I really wanted to do an all matte look but I just couldn't I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> so, update on the mascara. Um, I have got a few little flaky bits just underneath my eyes right here, and it has kind of transferred just on my on my right hand side a little, just slightly. So, as far as it being flake free and smudge proof, uh, questionable. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can just dust them away. But I did like the formula. It really thickened and lengthened my lashes. It was very black straight away you saw the impact that it gave. The formula is almost mousse-like, it's very thick, so if you like liquidy mascaras, you're not gonna like this one. <laughs> very quick application, I didn't have to layer to get the results that I wanted. My lashes still kind of look wispy, and I agree with the natural kind of curl that it gives. It did give my lashes just a little bit of a lift, but nothing too crazy. It wasn't spider lashes or anything like that. I quite like the way it's made my lashes look. I feel like you should be careful though with this one, and not push the product in too quickly and build layer and layer and layer. I feel like then you would really get a lot of flake in. It's completely dry now and it's not heavy on my lashes at all. I feel like it's a good formula but it just has a few little flaws but I'm definitely going to use it again. It's a good product. I really like the result. If you like thick voluminous lengthened lashes with a little bit of wisp to them then you'll probably like it. And yeah that's pretty much all I have to say on this mascara, I hope you enjoyed this quick little review and before and after so you can see what it does to your lashes, or my lashes at least. If you enjoy seeing reviews of individual products like this, then please leave a thumbs up on the video so I know, because I always wonder if it would be better for me to just throw these all in like a first impressions video. But if you prefer individual videos on each individual product, then let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Also, if you do enjoy these kind of videos and you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the little bell button which is right next to it so you get notified of when I upload and yeah that is it from me I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope you tune back in for the next one till then bye guys which is pretty I think I've done, I think I've filmed everything. I don't know. Subscribe. <laughs> I need to go to bed. Okay, night everybody. Sleep tight. If you're not going to bed, good morning, good afternoon, good day. Hallelujah.